Hey church, thanks for checking out this week's Afterthought. We started a new series on Sunday called Simply, How to Live Simply in a World of Complexity. And Sunday's main idea or main thought was this, Christ is our all or Jesus is our all. And really it's so sometimes hard to realize that the gospel is that simple. Oftentimes we want to dive into so many other things and complicate what the gospel is all about, but really the gospel is all about Jesus Christ. Matter of fact, the great preacher Charles Spurgeon once said this, he said, Know Christ in your sermon, sir? Then go home and never preach again until you have something worth preaching. What an incredible statement, and I believe that it's a true statement. Too often we get away from Jesus, we get away from Christ, and that Christ is our all. And what Jesus teaches us, that His life, His love, His lead, His willingness to come, uh, pursuing us, His willingness to die on the cross, His willingness to come out of the grave and provide eternal life for us, says so much about how we should found ourselves, root ourselves in Christ and Christ alone. I think about Paul. When he's writing to the church in Corinth, and here's what he said, first, verse, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, he said, For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Paul later wrote in Galatians that I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. His whole message, the message of Paul was Christ crucified, resurrected, alive again. It should also be our message. So I want to encourage you, church, let's hone our hearts in. Let's focus ourselves into Christ because Jesus is our all.